everybody, my name is Kayla and today I'm going to talk about my top 15 books of 2015. You can see part of them. I like this setting out here. I don't know how bad the sun is right now because I can't really see because of it. So I'm hoping the video <laughs> looks good. So sorry if it's weird shadows and everything. So and you can see my dog fence back there. So sorry again I was going to do a cool wood background but the sun hates me right now. So and it's really chilly out here so I'm buttoned up in a... <laughs> fuzzy shoes and a hat and a sweater. So let's get started. So I have picked 15 books that I've read in 2015 that I'm going to show you. Um, I have read a lot of amazing books this year, like a ton, sorry, there's like something like it. And I had, to, picking 15 was very hard, but a lot of the books I read, not most of them, but a lot of them were library books or books I borrowed from friends or books that are on the Kindle. So I decided to pick my top 15 out of the books I own, so it's just easier to video. So there is a lot of books that I read that were amazing. Let me think of the name of you. Um, Things We Know By Heart I read and it was amazing. I mean Oliver I read, it was amazing. There was, there's tons of them. But I'm not going to talk about them because I don't own them and I can't show you them. So I'm just going to talk about my top 15 2015 books that I actually own. So. Let's go! I really hope that this is not a bad video, like the shadows I know are weird, so I'm sorry about that. But, um, these are in no particular order. They, I might show them in like, when I, like, read them. Like, I'll say, oh, this was in the beginning of the year, or this is, but all of these books are amazing. I think, I am almost positive all of these, I gave five out of five stars, I'd be surprised if I didn't. They are just, there's in no particular order. I can't pick my favorite to least favorite because I just read so, uh, lots of amazing books that I absolutely fell in love with. So again, these are in no particular order. I'm just gonna show you in the pile I have them currently. So let's get started. Because it's right here, I'll show you, is Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lady Taylor. This is the last book in the Daughter of Smoke a Bone trilogy. I got this series on Christmas of 2014 and I read it, raced through it. I finished, I read this one January like the 2nd, so 2015 January the 2nd, I read the rest of them in 2014, and I loved it, oh my gosh, the smoke, I loved it, the first one was probably my favorite, the second one was absolutely amazing as well, but it wasn't as amazing as the first one, this one ended, it didn't end how I thought it was going to end, or how I thought I wanted it to end, but it ended perfectly, I thought all the characters, it went well it was sad it was but not too sad it, it was an amazing book and I absolutely loved it definitely recommend the series to anybody in the world read it now <laughs> the next book I was gonna stop at, I don't know why <laughs> the next book I'm showing you and I read this in like January the 2nd so in the beginning of the year this one I'm not quite sure I think it was in like early summer early spring I don't know I read this looking for Alaska by John Green I read Paper Towns and I read Fault in Our Stars and Race Through Them. This one took me a little more to get into, not because it wasn't a good book. I didn't connect as well with the characters, I think, or something, but then I got to like probably four chapters in and then I fell in love with all of it. It got amazing. I cried. I laughed. It was an amazing book. It, probably my favorite by him, but I don't know. His writing is amazing. If you haven't read John Green, where have you been? And you need to go to the bookstore. Stop watching this and go to the bookstore, like, right now. Because his writing is amazing. His characters are amazing, his plot's amazing, all of it's amazing, and so you need to go read it. And this one is definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite. It's just, let me keep moving, really good. <laughs> <coughs> Next book is The Cage by Megan Shepard. I read A uh, Madman's Daughter by her, and I read the whole trilogy. I read the, I think by the time I read this, I'd read the first and the second, but not the third yet, because it was only hardcover, and I didn't want to buy it hardcover, because I'd read the rest of them paperback, so I got it at the library. <laughs> But this is a really unique idea, and I really like the cover, first of all. But it is about a human zoo that aliens have captured humans to be put into for research. Yeah, I want to make sure I have it. Yeah, good, it says in the back. I want to make sure I didn't spoil you, like that's not something you know. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, but this was a really unique idea amazing writing great characters i really absolutely love this book definitely recommend it and if you haven't read the madman daughter another unique really exciting series that you should go read i'm really excited about the rest of the series of this it's not out yet next book i read i'm gonna save that for later because that's like my favorite is landline by rim Burrell. again not in any order just showing them um i this is the first book i re read by rim Burrell, and i really enjoyed it it's made more for adults not as i don't think it's a young adult book but it the way it like 
it was such a unique perspective. It's about this girl who her and her husband have kind of been falling apart. She decides to stay home to work on, she works on like TV shows. She makes the plot and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's right. She decides to stay home for Christmas break while they go and visit the family because she has to choose this amazing show idea and it's about to get produced and she wants to be there to make sure everything goes right. And so her and her husband have been kind of not fitting together right and she has two daughters and she she doesn't want, she loves her husband, she just doesn't know what to do about it and then one day she goes home, which is not far, her mom lives like right there, just to like have dinner or something and she calls her husband on her mom's old landline and calls her husband from the past when they were originally dating and it show kind of it shows you their story and it also shows you like it just it's such a unique idea and it's her re like not sure what to do and then she ends up like it I don't know how to explain it a great book really unique idea amazing just like seeing their story being told and her realizing all like feeling bad for the past even though she can't really change it now and realizing that she can change the future now she has to just like show him she loves him and it great book okay let me keep moving <laughs> um next book is saint anything by sarah Dessen. i have read almost all there's two books i haven't read by her but i'm planning on reading them this year and i have all of them signed i went and saw her when i was 13 and got like almost all of them signed and then i got two more books and then i went and saw this book when it was published with her and she signed it and she's so awesome, first of all. She's a daughter, and she lives in Cary, actually, in North Carolina, and she's just a super great person, first of all. Second of all, her writing is amazing, her plot, her stories, everything, so if you haven't read anything by her, definitely go check her out, because she's an amazing author. But this one, I think, is probably my favorite by her. This is about a girl, her brother was kind of like the perfect son, and then he ended up getting an, ed or he wasn't really the perfect son, his just parents focused more on him. He was the main focus, she was kind of the outside child. Then he ends up getting in trouble and he gets arrested, and her parents are still focused on him, and she kind of feels outside of the circle, outside of school, because she moves to a different school. And she has no friends, she doesn't really have anybody she can talk to, until she ends up, I think it's a pizza parlor she actually goes into? might not might just be a restaurant but she ends up going in there because she's out of gas or something and she meets friends and she meets this nice guy and she realizes that there's more to life than just living outside the circle and sometimes you have to stand up for yourself and great book let's move on just great book definitely go check out Sarah Dessen next book I'll show you is this song will save your life by Leela Sales this book is a little bit of sadder let me go blue is a little bit of a sadder book. It's about a girl who's really lonely and she's depressed and she doesn't have many friends and the friends she has aren't like real friends. There's people she hangs out with but not somebody she can actually talk to and so she at nights goes and runs and it's kind of her outlet and one day she accidentally runs into, on a weekend, she accidentally runs into a like dance party thing that happens once a week on the weekends and she ends up meeting people that she gets close to friends and then she meets a guy obviously and things go south with him but she ends up starting she starts DJing and falling in love with songs and the way that they like kind of connect to you and it great book it's a little bit sadder on some parts but at the same time really good read it <laughs> next book is Rosehead by Ksenia Enske. Ksenia Enske is a really awesome writer and a really fun person I've never met her but she has a YouTube channel I'll actually link it down below which is really fun like whenever she finishes the draft she'll do like a dance and stuff and it's really cool and her books are really great this one is about a carnivorous rose garden and house and a 12 year old girl and her pup uh, what's it called? whip it and a mute boy that are trying to save their family from being eaten by a rose garden I told you, really unique and really exciting. Go check it out. I'll link her website down below too where you can go get the book. But I really, really enjoyed this and you should go read it. Okay, I have a lot more books. I need to speed this up. Next book is My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. I have read the Between the Lines, I think, by Jodi Picoult and her daughter. Really loved it. Never read anything else in none of her adult books. This is about a girl who she was literally conceived so that she could be a donor for her sister who has leukemia. And so her whole life has been donating her blood, donating her, um, 
bone marrow donating like whatever she needs to donate and so when she turns 13 she decides she's going to get a lawyer and she doesn't want it she never had an option it was just her life and she wants to fight against it so on the one hand you're like with the sister because that's been her whole life and she hasn't really been able to do anything else but on the other hand the other sister is dying so it's a very unique i cried story that didn't fit it's a very unique story i cried <laughs> You should go check it out. I have several more of her books that I haven't picked up yet, but I'm really excited about reading. So yeah. <laughs> Next book is actually not a book. It's a graphic novel, and actually the first graphic novel I ever read, and it's Nimona by <coughs> Noelle Stevenson. Really fun book. It's about a girl who wants to be a villain, so she starts working for, and she's a shapeshifter, who starts working for the best villain, and who is against the best good guy. But the good guy might not be as good as you think, and the bad guy might not be as bad as you think. And it's a really, like, sad story, but happy story at the same time, and just a really good book, or graphic novel. The pictures are really fun, and I really loved it. Okay. Oh, wow, I have a lot more. Okay, next <laughs> next book is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Really, I've read a lot of contemporary books, if you can't tell, this year that I loved. Um, it's really good, really heartwarming, great story. I love Huntley Fitzpatrick. I just read Boy Most Likely 2 by her, which has some of the same characters, and love that as well. But, yeah. <laughs> um, next book is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Most people have read this, and if you don't haven't read it, you at least know about it. Most people. This is the first book in the Luna Chronicles. I really liked it a lot. This probably is my favorite in the series so far. I have not read The, the Winter and Cress, I think. Yeah. And I really like Scarlet as well, but Anyways, this is a Cinderella retelling, but with a lot of twists. I'm not going to explain it because it kind of gets complicated trying to explain it, but I'll just show you the cover that kind of explains it. <laughs> really exciting book, so yeah. I'm hearing somebody moving around, but I can't see because it's the sun. Um, next book is Amy and Marjorie's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I love Morgan Matson. She's a lot like Sarah Desson in her writing, but different. I bo love both of them. I really, really enjoyed this. I read this when I was actually on a road trip, which made it that much better. It's a great book. It kind of makes you think, like, I've lived in the same place. Like, I've traveled, but I've lived in the same place all my life, and so I don't think about, like, my normal's not everybody else's normal. And so reading this kind of makes you think, wow, they don't know what Chick-fil-A is? Like, that's... I know what Chick... Like, everybody knows what Chick-fil-A is. It just makes you, like, think about that, and I have never really thought about that before, if that makes any sense. But it was a great book. Really heartwarming. Really good. I've read a lot of contemporary this year that were amazing. Okay. I have three left. Okay. <laughs> the next book is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodgkin. Really creepy book. It's hard to explain it, but pretty much she wakes up with no memory of, of an accident that killed her best friend, her boyfriend, and her best friend's friend that's not really close with her. And she ends up meeting a mysterious boy who seems to know about her past and she doesn't understand. And she's seeing things and she thinks she's going insane. It's Really creepy, really great book, and you should go check it out. The pile's gonna topple over. Okay, next book is The Curiosities. This is actually a collection of short stories by Maggie Studebaugh, Tessa Gretton, and Brenny Yavanoff. This started as a site where they just posted stories every once in a while, like they prompt each other for stories, but then they decided to turn it into a book. Really, some really creepy stories, some really, like, just really weird stories that are amazing. Great book. You should go check it out. If you have read anything by Maggie Stiefvater, this is a lot like that in, like, well, obviously it's by her, but in the creepy, like, the Shiver trilogy kind of thing. Like, it's different, but at the same time, it's got aspects of different. It's just a really great book. I've talked about this in a lot of my videos. I, this has made me fall in love with short stories, and so you should go read it. <laughs> okay, last book is probably my favorite book I've read this year. Or The Curiosities. This is one of The Curiosities. I've read a lot of amazing books again, so like, let me know what your favorite books for this year are in the comments, please. Or if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them. And so on and so forth. You know the deal. <laughs> um, this is Something Real by Heather Demetrius. This, first, the cover. That's just so cool. Second of all, this is about a girl who she was on a reality TV show until she was like 8 years old, since she was like born. And she has 12 siblings, and she hated being on a reality TV show and they ended up ending it and her mom and dad promised never to go put her back into that and then one day she comes home from school and they're starting the TV show over again. And it kind of shows you the reality behind the reality TV shows and it's just a really unique perspective and great book, great writing. You should go check it out. So this, can I hold them all? Wait. I know, low battery. Um, please check out my other videos and subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. <laughs> 
I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you had a great 2015 and you read lots of great books like I did. Um, bye! <laughs>